So, having decided that we actually need more than one table in our database and design those tables as we have here, the clients table, the sales table and the country table, what we then need to do is actually define a relationship between each of the tables. The relationship is a link between any two fields in any two tables. So if we take our clients table, how do we know which sales belong to which client? Well, we link clients ID to the sale client in the TBL sales. So we physically create a join from the client ID to the sale client. Now, the client ID we know is the primary key in the clients table, and that will link through to the sale client in the TBL sales. This field here is referred to as the foreign key. The foreign key is the link to the primary key in another table. Now, the reason that I have an arrow on the end of this join as well is because this relationship is a one to many. So the client ID will only ever appear once uniquely in the client table, but could in theory appear many times in the sales table if you have many sales for one of your clients. So that's a one to many relationship. The bulk of your relationships will be one to many. We then need to create a join between the country's table and the client's table. In this case, the one side is going to be the country ID because that's the primary ID for each country. So we link the country ID to the client country. Notice that the arrow points that way. Client country is now classed as the foreign key in the relationship. And we have a one to many relationship going in that direction. That's only a physical direction on the screen. The direction is one to many. Primary key to foreign key. Now there is no need to create a relationship between the country's table and the sales table because we can find out the total sales by country by effectively using the client's table as an adjoining table. So if we were to run a query that said, show me all the total sales values for Australia, we can include all three tables in our query, take the country name from here, the sales value summed from there, and it will use this join here through to that join there to decide which sales belong to which country. There's no need to repeat ourselves by putting into this table the country and then linking through to this one. That would just get too messy, too complicated, and too many things to keep updated. So these are our relationships. What we need to do now is look at how we would physically create those relationships in an access database. So it's one to many, one to many. You can have one to one relationships where you may have a table of information. You're linking the primary keys. In that case, the ID would only appear in either table once, but the bulk of your relationships in an access system will be one to many.